I was as shocked as you are to see 2023 Rookies and Stars longevity boxes pop up on Target's website for this year, but not all in good ways. Let's find out why, and let's rip some aces. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Huxbucks here. Today, we're checking out the 2023 Rookies and Stars Longevity boxes. We got three of them for you. We got these off of Target's website. Incredibly hard to find, incredibly hard to get. I think they were $49.99 a box, maybe $54.99. You can fact check me in the comments below there. But we got three of them for you today. And I was surprised that they came out this year, to be honest. They were not a thing in 2022. I'm sure most of you remember 2021. These things were the retail bomb. They blew everything else out of the water when it came to retail products. Maybe the best there ever was. And I am shocked in more ways than one from watching some openings and just to see them sitting here before me today. Before we get into that, I wanna let you guys know I have a channel giveaway going on for the month of March. To enter, just be a sub and on any March video, just like a video and leave a comment on any video, and every video gets you one entry into the giveaway. All right, so on the surface, these things appear just as awesome. We're gonna find one autograph per, mem per box on average. And here's where it gets less awesome. There's a couple less awesome things about this. Longevity, we can only get pull numbered cards to 299 and 399 as opposed to the blasters where we can pull 101s. We're gonna get six rookies per box. Um, we already saw that. We're gonna find 12 inserts included uh, Crusade Airborne and Stellar Rookies. I don't know if that 12 is all Opti-Chrome. Um, there is something uh, unique about the longevity box this year and that's the base cards are quite distinct uh, from the regular blaster base cards. But we're going to open three of these today to get an idea. Are these still awesome? I think we semi know the answer to that, unfortunately, but let's get to that. All right. So we're going to get six packs, 10 cards per pack. So just 60 cards as opposed to the blasters, 72. But, you know, I'm not complaining there because I don't really want a whole lot of Rookies and Stars base, and that came out busted. But so this year in the longevity, they're like a hollow foil finish on the base. As you can see, very shiny, very bright. I like it. I think it's a nice change. But it, did that come at the cost? Is this the trade off for not being able to pull load numbered cards? Miles Sanders. There is an Austin Eckler and our first OptiChrome. Is going to be a laser of Justin Herbert on the Thrillers. And we're sticking with the red themed here, I guess. Uh, parallels a red man in motion of Saquon. Is that Saquon? Saquon. Which Saquon's going to be a free agent. By the time you're seeing this, free agency should have already started. Um, a lot of some big names out there. We'll see where they land. Some pretty decent quarterbacks to keep track of. All right, so here is our, just kind of run through our base. We got a lot of cards to look at. Anthony, there we, there's an Anthony Richardson. So here's our mem, Anthony Richardson on the mem. Um, you know, I don't have thick sleeves handy, so we're just gonna put him to the side, but that is numbered out of 399. I assume all the mems are 399. And that is not from any specific game or event. Devontae Adams. Touchdown Club Red. Is he leaving? Jaden Reed on the Red Rookies and Stars. I assume that's a red parallel because it's got red foil. And our rookie is... Jair Brown. They do have some more obscure rookies in here, I will say. These packs are incredibly tough to open. Like Fort Knox, there's a Purdy on the silver. 
Devontae Smith. Still not a rookie. All right. Our airborne is Josh Allen. Good PC card. I do really like the hollow foil uh, base. I really do like that addition. Put that in our hit pile. Red Jahan Dotson, man in motion. A Will Anderson, red rookie rush. And a Tyson ba Bajant, rookie. He had his 15 minutes of fame. And it was oh so fleeting. Yeah, I really like the... Actually, that is the base. It's the red foil. That's so that those parallels that I was claiming were parallels were, in fact, not parallels. Well, I've ever said I wouldn't lie to you. Ooh, there's an auto. We got an auto. Out of 200, Kayvon Thibodeau. Not his rookie. It's solid. Get that in a top letter. We'll take that. Really good player, defensive guy. He's got a beautiful auto. It is a refreshing auto in a time when most guys do two letters. Stefan Diggs, red. Will Levis, rookie rush. And a Jake Hayner on a rookie. All right, two more packs. Longevity box number one. That opened incredibly easy. All right, let's just get to our good stuff. Another Herbert, Airborne Laser. We love the Herbert with our Rookies and Stars. Standing O, Micah Parsons on the red standing ovation. A Zay Flowers draft class. I believe that is a red. And our rookie is Trey Tucker. All right, so we got our Mem. And we got our auto. We did not get points, so that is a plus. And there's our... Wait, we got two mems out of this? Okay, we got two mems out of this. This is a, a T-Law NFL Authentic. It's numbered a 399. Behind that is a Hendon Hooker. And that is, again, not from any specific game or event. Hen and Hooker Rookie Crusade on the laser. I think that's called the laser. Jake Hain or Derek Carr on the standing O. Jalen Hurts. JSN. And our rookie is overshown. All right, box number two. One for one. I'm sure many of you have seen, again, the problem with rookies and stars this year is the points. Most people get... I did not cut that well. Most people are getting just a ton of points out of these things instead of autographs. And I'm going to get into it in another video at some point, but I don't know how you put, you can advertise on your boxes one autograph and then not give autographs and give out points. It's not even on average because these things have been uh, coming out at almost a 50% clip for points. Like, unless your legal term, I guess your legal definition of average is 51%, then you're in the clear. That might not be legally wrong. It is certainly ethically and morally wrong for a company to do that. I have real issues with that. All right, our thrillers is Derek Carr on the thriller. Another Stefan Diggs red. A lot of dupes. Tyree Wilson and a Julius Brents on the rookie. Oops, haven't really hit on the rookie rookies thus far. Oh my gosh. Some pop, some don't. Woof, that was an adventure. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Sticking together is what good waffles do. The lack of numbered cards certainly hurts. There's a Kenny Pickett on the airborne. Joshy Allen on the red. There we go. CJ Stroud 
I think that's a red. It is really hard to tell if that's a red parallel or not. I don't think it is. Truth be told. And then an Aiden O'Connell rookie there. I think that's just the Texas. Texans colors. Patrick Mahomes. Amon Ra. Yeah, not knowing you can't get numbered cards is definitely a negative on the longevity boxes. There is a Joe Mixon. And in motion, Jalen Hurts. Jameer Gibbs on the rookie rush. There we go. There's a Bryce Young, our first top flight rookie quarterback. Rookie. We will sleeve that up and try to dig out a top letter here. Oh, and FYI, I am again, I am trying to pump out these videos um, super quick. I'm going to be out of town again this week. So over the weekend, I'm trying to record some videos. I'm going to try to get them edited. Oh, man. And uh, out to you guys. So again, as I apologize for last week, you know, the quality of the content might not be what you're used to. But hey, a lot of you, <laughs> some people in uh, the comments, seem to like simple. They don't like a lot of talking. They don't like reveals. Um, they just seem to be miserable people. Um, rookie uh, Sean Clifford on the year one. Not, no, in 399. Behind that. Not used, of course. Behind that, Tyler Lockett, who is getting his contract restructured. I want to hear Jalen Carter and a DJ Turner. Two more packs. We haven't seen our auto. Um, and we haven't seen points, so we're expecting something here. I'm peeking. Peeking for points. Crusade, Joe Namath. Joe Namath on the Crusade. Interesting to put him on there. Jamar Chase, standing O. Jamal Williams. And a Riley Moss. Yeah, they go... For 100 rookies, they... How do you guys feel? Clearly, they use... Panini uses different rookies in different sets to kind of cover them, I guess. How do you guys feel about that? Do you like that they cover a wider range of rookies, even though they're digging deeper into the draft? All right, here should be our points or autograph. We got an autograph. Tank Bixby. Who, compared to Thibodeau, has a terrible autograph. So two for two on the autographs. We are bucking the trend when it comes to the average number of points, and it makes everything I'm saying about rookies and stars seem like I'm just lying. But I encourage you, you know, go watch other videos, um, and you will see the amount of points that fly out of these things. Quinton Johnson on the draft class, and a Chase Brown rookie. Charlie Jones, sorry. Charlie Jones, Chase Brown. All right. Longevity box number three. Thought about only doing two and holding out of this one, but I love to rip cards. So that is what we're doing. We're opening all three. He had the box off camera. He probably swapped packs. Yeah, I sure did, because... I sure hope I don't pull a good card. All right, last box. Let's go three for three on the autos. This has not been nearly as fun as the blasters, I'm going to say. And I think it's the lack of numbered cards. But I know I can't get them. T-Law on the Crusade. Nick Chubb. JSN. And our rookie is Tyler Lacey. I wonder why Panini did that this year. Reduce the numbered cards. 
Like, you know they didn't produce a lot of it, so why couldn't they put numbered cards in there? Ha! Huh, ha! Huh, look at that! Will you look at that? Will you look at that? Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> yeah, well... Would you look at that? Yeah, there's a few more blemishes on the card. Oh my gosh, the just car, look at the it! Cars. No even slow roll. Zay Flowers on the Rookie Auto. So three for three on autographs. Two of them being rookies. Pretty solid. Um, I actually had a guy comment. Uh, I had a short pull on a kaboom. And he literally said it took four seconds for me to reveal a kaboom. And he complained about it's so trash that people slow roll reveals. I'm sorry, brother. If a kaboom isn't worthy of slow rolling, uh, I don't know what to tell you. We well, picked up too many cards. I'm sorry. Well, that was not a slow roll at all. That was right, at, right in your face, crept up on you. Bijan and that Achan on the rookie. Longevity. Nice thing about these should hold a little bit more value over the base rookies that come out of the blasters that aren't the hollow foil. I do, I do really like that. I just wish there were numbered cards in here. All right. So we got our auto. A nice Stroud would be sweet. Sam Howell again, if you saw my blasters. You know, we're on the Sam Howell train. Drake London on the standing O. And Peter Skaronsky on the rookie. Yeah, I haven't hit too many Strouds. I hit one Stroud out of the Blasters, and I haven't seen one here, so... Let's get a Stroud. That's what we're all here for. Another Josh... No, Jared Goff. I thought that was Josh Allen's face. Jared Goff on the Airborne. Adams. Austin Eckler, and our rookie is Mozzie Smith. Really whiffing on the rookies. But hit on the autos. Autos were awesome. Say flowers. Take Bigsby. Still looking for our mem. Rock. Thrillers. Cooper Cup. Red. Kelsey. Will Levis. Rookies. Our draft class. And our rookie is Broderick Jones. Last pack. This has got to have our mem. Last chance for a CJ. Pretty glad I opened that last box. We got the Zay Flowers autograph. Pretty cool. And there's a Tyreek Hill. On the NFL Authentic, number to 399. Again, not game used. Fields, Man in Motion, Jordan Addison, and our rookie. Come on. Come on, rookie. Giants, not the team you want to see. Jalen Hyatt on the rookie. So there you go. There you have the longevity boxes. We did exceptionally well, I would say. We didn't really hit any Strouds that I... I don't believe we hit a single Stroud at all. I get my hands on them. This is what we got. A-Chan, T-Law, Joe Namath. Oh, we got one Stroud here. Can he pick it? Not a lot of Strouds on either the uh, NAR mem. But uh, we did hit one Bryce Young rookie. We got our three autos right here. We got the Kayvon Thibodeau out of 200. Tank Bixby, Big, uh, Tank Bixby out of 299. And the best hit of the break by far was a Zay Flowers out of 299 rookie auto. My final thoughts on the longevity boxes. You are certainly going to get more points than you should be out of here if you've watched any other openings. Again, we're not results-based. So, 
from what I've seen, you get points a lot out of these, and that is super unfortunate. The lack of numbered cards is unfortunate as well. It is a fun rip, but if I was going to open blasters or longevity boxes, I think I might open blasters, to be honest with you. I had more fun. I enjoyed that more than this. I do like that the base cards are hollow foil. It distinguishes themselves from the base. Adds a little bit of value to them. I do like that. Overall, I'm going to give this a two and a half out of five aces. It's a solid product, but it's no 2021 longevity box. I do want to thank you guys for watching, spending even just a minute of your time with me today. And until next time, peace out.